Just a little follow-up honeybee video here. I had posted an Instagram story and uh, all my a few of my friends actually text me like, oh man, are all those dead bees normal on the ground? That's terrible. And from my experience, it's completely normal. Every year I've had this uh, hive for probably five or six years now. And uh, yeah, basically an average, you can see they are coming out today because it's, uh, it's around 45 degrees, 50 degrees. But some of them, what I've noticed, I've been sitting here for a while watching them and some of them just like come out strong, hit the cold and it shocks them and they just, psh, they'll, They'll land on the ground, twirl around a little bit, and just can't get back up. And uh, you can see they actually melt into the snow, like some of those are down under the snow. This, here's a good example right there. Let me turn the flash off so you can see how far he melts in. And now um, other ones you'll see carrying dead bees out. Those are actually mortuary bees because they do haul out the dead, and then they usually will fly them really far away. Man, these dogs are going crazy over there. Uh, they'll fly them really far away and then drop them away from the hive. But I've been noticing some just come out and drop them right here and go back to the hive because they're like, uh, screw that, it's cold out. You can see there quite a few are coming out now as I'm uh, sitting here. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. But anyway, uh, a beehive generally has somewhere around 40 or 50,000 bees, sometimes up to 80,000 bees in, in the peak of the season. And uh, they die every day. I mean, mostly worker bees, foragers going out who die on the job, and that goes unnoticed. But obviously, the snow is going to contrast this a little bit and, and show you how many are dying. But uh, it's pretty normal for a hive that had maybe 50,000 bees in it to have only 20,000 by, by springtime, so totally normal. And I just wanted to make this video show that for anybody, uh, anyone who was concerned or any other beekeepers that see this and see like, so even this dead one sitting right here, they'll come and pick him up and bring him somewhere else because they just do a good job of uh, keeping their hive clean. And that's all there is to it. And as I'm sitting here, there are quite a few bees still coming in from the day, from, from afar, all the way, you know, from, from the sky, like that guy right there, I don't know if you can see him. So uh, even though it's in the 40s today, they're going strong, but if it's like uh, 10, because I, I have lost a hive before, actually. I, I didn't medicate the, the first time I had a hive. Um, I used Epivar in the, in the fall time. And basically what I'm trying to say is if it's like 15 degrees and you're not sure if your hive's still alive, you just come over and give it a tap and, and listen up. And then you can you can hear that buzz and I don't know if you can hear it, but you don't want to do that too much because then, like, I did that once when it was 10 degrees and I didn't hear any noise so I hit it harder and then all these bees came out and as soon as they hit the 10 degree weather they just dropped to the ground, maybe like a dozen of them. I was like, alright, well that's not a good idea unless you want to kill your bees. Anyway, that was just a little honey beehive update. I hope to maybe might get another hive this year. Uh, but yeah, you could probably oh, they're coming out. Yeah, they got pissed. I don't know if you saw that on video, but there was just like three bees that just came barreling out of there. So somebody must have went in, told them, "Hey, get this, get this mother guy out there," and uh, they came out. One stung me in the leg. They don't usually do that, but they can be unpredictable. Anyway. Drop it a thumbs up maybe if it helped you and or if you watched it and uh, thanks for checking it out. See you guys again. Just heading back over to take one more peek. Look how many bees they came flying out when I did that. But uh, yeah, so don't do that at home. Luckily, they all seem to have made it back in safe, but you can tell that colony is very healthy. So good stuff.